Spotlight Sunday. So today I wanted to go back to one of my oldies but goodies, one of my favorite channels, the one that I really feel like I have learned the most from, and that is Lucky Robin. She has turned her backyard into a farm. She has French intensive gardening. She has turkeys and ducks and chickens and rabbits. And then she has this amazing meal plan that she works around them. So it really is the whole picture, not just the raising the animals, not just the gardening and not just the cooking. She really brings it all together and has beautiful meals that she prepares. And so with that, she is the one who's taught me how to raise rabbits more efficiently in a friendlier way to the rabbits in a friendlier way to me so that I'm saving money on feed and caging and that kind of thing. So I love, I just love the holistic nature of her channel. It just covers everything and she's doing it on a budget while still getting out of debt saving money for uh, a down payment for their new house they she's just she is amazing so go check out her channel and lucky robin and i'll put up a link in the top and then uh in the description below and we'll talk to you later hi i'm lucky robin i homestead in the city we live in a small city of about 80,000 people and the lot that we live on is slightly less than a half acre. In this section, I have a French biointensive organic raised beds. I have lots of herbs and pots and we have uh, blackberries along here and raspberries along the fence back there. This area, we pretty much leave to things like dock and dandelion greens and um, herbs like sage and thyme that don't need a lot of attention because um, we really can't water around this area um, or it seeps into the basement and floods the basement. Um, we have a couple of rain barrels on our drain pipes here and then there's another uh, rain barrel on the deck. We grow a lot of flowers for pollinators and we do use the rose hips. There's the other rain barrel on the deck. So we have three rain barrels. The front yard is basically flowers and vegetables. Um, we have a small raised bed here. Uh, this is not fetched by intensive. It is just a raised bed in here. And it's got carrots and radishes and beets and uh, peppers and tomatoes. Got sunflowers and uh, this is Japanese popcorn. We've got a little quick neck squash in a row here. And then zucchini in a row here. And then sweet meat squash here and more herbs and flowers to bring in the bees and more squash over here this is sweet meat on this side of the house um, we have a narrow strip and right now it's planted in cucumbers acorn squash corn potatoes and sweet meat squash and we can do it on this side of the house because it when we water it doesn't seep into the basement we raise New Zealand meat rabbits, both white and red. And we have a 18 hole setup, five of which are grow out cages. We have three big apple trees, blueberry bushes, two big ones. These are a table grape, not a wine grape. And we also had a Italian plum tree. It's our lane hen coop. Over here is the meat chicken coop and their run. And the run goes on the far side of the garage as well. We have um, nine full grown lane hens right now. And then we also have a pair of Royal Palm Heritage Breed turkeys. That's George. And this is our duck yard. And we have um, three gold phase 
Welsh Harlequins and two silver face Welsh Harlequins. The male is silver face. Mm -hmm. We have one khaki Campbell female and one blue Swedish female. And there's Gina. So, um, but yeah, we raise, um, we raise the ducks for um, eggs mostly, but also meat. And sometimes we will run um, a batch of Pekings as well. This is our chest freezer where we store uh, the majority of our um, homegrown and slaughtered meats or what we get from um, other organic farmers. Um, I dehydrate and can as much food as I can out of what we grow ourselves. Um, these are my herbs and medicinal um, flowers and roots. Uh, that I've done so far this summer. And this is what is left on my canning shelves from last year. And I'm just getting started on getting them filled again. So that is my channel. This is what I uh, vlog about. And if you like what you see, come on over and check it out.